turn that over and get this part with the two pins on. Guys, that is it for the first dab in. Pretty cool that does. And that's how they look. Pretty cool. Big pin into the big hole, little pin into the little hole. Oops, fire to this one. So I would say to these guys if we take the bases and have the pins that focus the same for you on the inside. Hey all, welcome back to the channel, Rich for Free. Hope you're all doing good guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm building the Titanic from Ashit Parkworks and we're at issue 59. Show the mag there. 59 guys, we're playing through this this build and I'm loving every second of it, every minute I build this, I love it, I look forward to doing it every week and giving it to you guys to watch. Quickly, a big thank you to our Australian friends right over the other side of the world there. Spread me about guys, get me all around the world, rich for free, around the world. But yet again, thank you for your message, you know who you are, all the way from Australia, he's enjoying the, the videos guys, we're about four ahead of him and he's enjoying watching what is coming to him probably a month after when he gets it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it for you and also all my other subscribers and all the other viewers that I've got on the channel. But thanks for your message, really appreciate it. And thanks for the support to all of you guys. Thanks for the support, thanks for the subs, the likes, the comments and the shares. Really appreciate it. But again, if you're not subscribed guys, remember to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button and also comment down below. I really love to hear from you, as I've just said, from our guys all the way from Australia. But without further ado guys, I'm gonna crack on now with this week's build of the Titanic from Asher Parkworks. To do and have a look through this week's mag of the Titanic from Ashit Parkworks issue 59. Just a quick one, guys. Thank you for Michael Stocks 2298. I think that's right. I will double check it while I'm editing this video and I'll put his name at the bottom of the screen about there at this time of the video. Thank you very much for your comment, really appreciate it. Some nice words were said, but thanks a lot. Do really appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. Keep the support coming guys, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting and sharing the video about. A big thank you. Right, so let's crack on with this week's build. Okay, so we'll take a quick look through the mag. And here we have guys coming in issue 60. Next up on the channel, second class entrance, decking vents, benches, lift engine house, port bulkhead, and piping and screws. Just a millennium fork in there, guys, at the top of the table, stopping the pages turning. That's on, that's on the playlist as well, guys, if you want to watch that. Take a look through, you'll find it somewhere in the channel. But yeah, you've got the usual good content between builds. Back to what we're doing this week then guys, we are building more lifeboats, davits for the port side. As you can see here guys, in this week's issue, we've got davit base C, three of those, lifeboats, davit base D, two of those, lifeboat block gear, eight of those, davit arms C2, three, lifeboat tarpaulins, four, davit arms C1, five of those, vent, curl and tall curl. So what we'll do is we'll quickly just see how many instructions we've got. We can see guys it's putting it all to the deck which is going to be pretty cool when done. And that is going to be what we're going to be finished at this week. So 
what we'll do is we'll get the parts out and then we'll crack on with this week's build. Again, as you can see guys, the coming beautiful packaging, all lovely sealed. So you ain't got to worry about parts missing, especially when the little parts like they are at the minute. Just check in there, always check guys, there's nothing left in. So there's our lifeboat, so I'll put that to one side. It is exciting now guys, getting these little packages. I don't know whether any other builds, model builders are the same, but it just feels like Christmas every week. I'm just doing this guys so I can see there's nothing been left at the bottom, as you can see, all empty. And here's all the davit pieces, I'll put those to one side for now. See, that was stuck to my hand guys, it's so easy to lose these little parts, just be very careful. More Davit parts, envelopes empty. It does take an age though to sort these out. I usually do that off camera for you, but just get yourself sorted, guys. Put them all in the place they need to be. Follow your instructions, and you shouldn't have any issues. That's that envelope empty. These are the tarpaulins. So if I just get the magazine back to instruction one. Right, first of all then, Instruction one, it's saying fit the four tarpaulins, which are these here, guys. So if I just place those there, four tarpaulins, and what we're going to do is fit those onto the lifeboats and position the block gear parts at each end of the lifeboat. Do not use any glue. Right, so you just take a lifeboat, like so. And then get your tarpaulin. And I think these only go on, I say one way, but yeah, they just go on one way, guys, like that. It's not secure as yet. And then what you have to do is take these parts 59D, which is the block gear parts, and simply push through the hole. Make sure it's lined up with a hole on the lifeboat, and that's how that will look like that. Do the same again with the other side of the lifeboat, a bit fiddly, but just go with it. Just careful when you do push them not to snap those block gear parts, but there's no glue needed as yet, guys. That's how they are supposed to look. So there we've got the block gear parts, 59D at each end of the lifeboat. The tarpaulin by the way is 59F and the lifeboats are classed as 59B. So that's one done. So I'll put that there, just at the top of the screen to the right. So you can see that's done. Now we've got to repeat that three more times. So again, put your tarpaulin on there. Get a block gear, simple as that, nice and easy. That's what we want guys, we want easy shoes and that helps you when we do have tough shoes, dare I say it, the windows, <laughs> that's all I'm saying guys, you know if you've seen the videos, I'm sure there's going to be harder to come. And I'm just looking at that, if that's fitted right. You'll know when they're fitted on right like that though, because it'll be flush onto the boat. There we go, so that's that one done. And do the same again. But yeah, dare I say, these only go on, yeah, they only go on one way. I'm going to try holding that different way this time for you guys. And then push that in through the tarpaulin into the boat. Like so, that's that one done. Beautiful. And then last but not least, the fourth lifeboat, applying the block gear for the fourth time. Again, put a bit of pressure guys, you're gonna have to to get into the 
the boat but be careful because these are not very strong at all these parts 59 d's and they might snap if you put too much pressure but there you go looking pretty cool guys so there you have four lifeboats and that is instruction one all done already so now we'll turn the page okay so as you can see at the top of the screen guys we've got Instruction two, it's saying take the vent 59H and 59J, a tall coal, identify the fixing points on the boat deck from the previous issue. They are positioned near the forward staircase on the port side, glue into place. And guys, so I think the best way to do this is, as you can see, I've got the deck at the bottom of the screen and the top left. You've also got the instructions if you want to watch the instructions as I'm gluing these pieces. So what I'm going to do, is take 59H, apply a tiny bit of glue onto these pins, like so. And where we're putting this, guys, is into these two holes, just there. The bigger pin into the bigger hole, and the smaller one into the smaller hole. Simply so gently push that into place. Just be careful not to bend your deck, and then the same again with 59J, a bit of glue, and this has got to be facing like that, which again, big pin into the big hole, little pin into the small hole, and that is instruction two done guys, so if I just try and lift that up for you, these are the two pieces we've just applied you got these little two benches from a previous issue how cool does that look guys look at that i am loving this build right so if i just pull this out of the way a second uh, instruction three as you can see here it's saying the coal 59i is fitted on the starboard side near the staircase glue into place so here we have 59i and if i bring the deck back up if you just want to have a quick look at these instructions here guys the diagram that's where 59 is going 59 eyes going and on the deck it's just there so again apply a little bit of glue to these pins again big pin into the big hole and so on little pin into the little hole there we go that's that done Simple as that, and just show a close up of that. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look good? Cool. I will give a shot to this deck at the end of the video, guys. So if you want to see it, stay tuned to the end, and then I'll show you to the end what we've done today. Now, instruction four, we're going back to doing davits. We've done this a few times, guys, so you probably know what's coming. So I'm going to put the deck down, and then we'll connect all these davits. And then I'll bring the deck back for instruction five. And we're going to be applying, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, the davits back to the deck. So what I've done is I've put a bit of cardboard here just so you can see exactly what pieces we've got here. Because they blend into the white on the magazine. So what we've got here then, guys, it's telling us in instruction four to get three davit bases, which we've got here, which are bases C, 59A, and three C1 arms which is 59G, which is the one with the two pins. Just let that focus. Yeah, you can see two pins there. That is 59G. Put that there for you. And then it's saying take three C2 arms, 59E, which is that there, just at the top of the screen. And these are the arms with the two pins on there if you can see that guys and basically as i've said this before you can't go wrong here if you get the david base lots like so, of pl place that in the middle of my hand you've got two holes on the left and two in the middle now if you look at the diagram just at the top you can't go wrong you're taking 59g it's got two pins there obviously the two pins are going to go into the middle and then 59e parts you've got two pins on the left and right and they're going to go into the red circles so 59g into the blue circles 
59E into the red circles. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So um, what I'm gonna do is make sure I've got this the right way around. You can see a little pin sticking up there. You want that on the left. Just replace that on that mat. And first of all, we'll get 59G, which is the one with the two pins on. Apply a little bit of glue. Yeah, I like things simple, me guys. As long as you follow your instructions, concentrate, you won't go wrong. And then you turn that over and get this part with the two pins on and then that will go, I'll show you shortly, I'm going to the two holes on the left and right which are the red circles on the instruction. Because at first guys when you're doing this it seems a bit daunting, you've got circles, you've got arrows everywhere and you're thinking, oh, where's it going? But once you get into it and commit to it, you're fine. Guys, that is it for the first dab it. Pretty cool that does. And of course we've got to do that now two more times. So again, get the Davit base, make sure that pin's just there. Get the one with the two pins vertical to each other. Apply a little bit of glue. Close to half there. Same again with the other side. Yeah, guys, if you're watching this video and you're sticking with me through it, a little bit of a exclusive for you guys. I'm going to be doing another one this week. <laughs> so, yeah, by the end of the week, you're going to be having another Titanic build coming. So, those of you who are skipping through this video you might not know this until it comes on the channel but for you guys who are sticking with me thank you very much really appreciate it but yeah there's another video coming guys before next monday because as you know guys we usually do it once a week but i thought this week i'd do a little bump a week of two titanic builds in a week and if you like that guys give us a comment let us know and of course, give us a big like. Yeah, so that's that David done. There you go. That was pretty quick. Quick quick and simple, guys. That's what we want. Now, what we've got to do now is apply those to the deck. So instruction five is saying the three double davits are fitted on the port side of the boat deck at the aft between the pairs of lifeboat cradles glue into place, taking care to fit them the right way around on each davit base. The outer peg hole is larger, yes, yeah, so we've got the larger pins and the, the smaller pins, guys, so it's pretty simple. So here we are, guys, I've brought the deck back. I'm gonna jump straight into it. Apply a little bit of glue on each of these pins. So again, you've got the small and big pin. But when you do apply them, guys, just remember, as it says in the instructions, these first pair of holes here, that will not fit. So you've got to go one in and then move three up. So we've applied the one, the first one. Now we're doing the second. Yeah, so we'll put that into there. Remember, big pin, little hole. Big pin into the big hole, little pin into little hole. Even though I'm getting confused now, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean. Right, so there's a the big one. So we've got that on the other side. And there we go, guys. We've got those three davits all in, glued. And that's how they look. Pretty cool. Now, instruction six, guys. The last instruction of this week's build. Well, for now, say no more. Take the two bases, which are these parts of 59C, bases D, and two arms, which are 59G, put down as C1. That's what we've got here, guys. Glue these arms to the bases to create two single 
sidey davits. These are fitted to the port side of the boat deck, 49B, shown there, and we've got to glue these into place. So how it's saying to these guys, if we take the bases and have the pins that focuses in for you on the inside, like so, and then what we're gonna do is take 59G, which are these two pieces, you can see there's two little pins there. We're going to just be applying those like that. So, we'll put a little bit of glue on here, guys. You know the score now. You know what's coming. There we go. Apply that to that davit. That's all I'm done. Pretty cool. Yeah, this week at the beginning of the video, I did thank you to that Australian subscriber. I did put uh, his name at the bottom of the screen at the beginning. Thank you so much, guys. It makes me feel so happy when I know people are following me on the build. Whether it's while you're building or you know what's to come and it just gives you an edge up. I really appreciate that. And I'm sure there's more out there. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys. I really do. But there we have two single davits. That's how they look. Now what it's telling us to do for the last part of this build, let me just put this lid on this glue, is get the deck back and apply them to the deck. As you can see with these two rings, red rings. So we're gonna do that now. So again guys, apply a little bit of glue, one to the big pin, one to the little pin. And then you put the big pin in the big hole and a little pin in the little hole, and so on done. And you can see that davit there is pointing that way up the deck. And last but not least, guys, big pin into the big hole, a little pin into the little hole. Whoops, fire to this one. There we go. That could have been snapped easy, guys. Be careful. There you go. There's all the davits fitted this week. How cool is that, guys? And that is it for this week's issue of the Titanic build, issue 59. And we've basically done the lifeboats and fitted some vents and davits. Guys, I do hope you enjoyed this build this week oh, a little lifeboat left at the corner there there we go do hope you enjoyed it guys if you did please subscribe give us a big like would really appreciate that comment and share and i'll see you in the next one peace that is it for this week's build of the titanic guys from ashford parkworks i do hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to give us a big thumbs up it really helps the channel grow guys I do really appreciate it guys this week we've assembled four more lifeboats and fitted davits on the aft port side of this titanic build also three ventilators have been fitted to the deck of this magnificent build the titanic from asher power works that is it for this week guys please come back next time for the next issue of the titanic from asher power works hope to see you there guys see you next one peace